Is there a way to successfully treat recurrent metastatic brain cancer? Yesterday, I presented the case of a 62-year-old female who presented to the emergency department brought by her family for altered mental status as well as some visual field difficulty and balance trouble. Now, she does have a relevant history of colorectal cancer and was found in the emergency department to have this finding on her MRI scan. A CT scan was performed in the emergency department followed by this MRI scan that showed this large ring enhancing mass in her left occipital lobe. She had no other lesions that were found on any of her additional imaging, including a CT scan of her chest, abdomen, and pelvis. And this was her only lesion on her MRI. Therefore, I elected to take her to surgery to have this lesion resected. The pathology returned a signet ring cell carcinoma, which is a poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma and it's very aggressive. I did a follow-up MRI within two days of surgery and it showed no residual tumor. So we did a good job. Cancer in any part of our body can spread to our brain through the bloodstream and colon cancer is known to do that. That means even though we resected it all, it can still come back and that's why we treat patients with radiation and or chemotherapy depending on what the pathology results show so we can suppress the ability for it to come back. We usually wait to start radiation or chemotherapy treatments until the patient has recovered from surgery to give their body a chance to heal. However, this tumor was crazy aggressive. In just a few weeks, four weeks to be exact, she had recurrence of her symptoms and her husband brought her back to the ER. Here, another MRI was done that showed that this tumor had come all the way back in just a few weeks and she hadn't even had time to start her radiation treatments. What could we possibly do to slow this thing down or can we? Obviously, this is the scenario where we really sit down with the family and have a goals of care discussion over quantity and quality of life. The prognosis is not good and we need to have appropriate goals of care. This patient is just 62 years old and even though they know the prognosis was poor, she wasn't ready to die just yet. So I offered her a re-resection of the mass and we're gonna step it up a notch this time. Go back in and re-resect this tumor. We can implant a treatment called gamma tile. These are tiles filled with radiation that can be delivered to the tumor site exactly at the time of implantation. Basically, this radiation therapy will only be delivered to the cancerous area and not to healthy brain. When the surgeon goes back in and we resect the mass, we line the tumor bed with these gamma tiles. How many tiles depends on the size of the tumor. This doesn't really lengthen the time of surgery and it takes only about five minutes to put these implants in. Here you can see how this treatment works. The radiation is slowly released over a period of time directly to that area where the tumor is likely to recur the most. About 95% of the radiation is delivered to the surgical bed within the first six weeks. Then over time, these collagen tiles are slowly resorbed by the body. The only thing that will be left behind is the little titanium marker. With the implantation of these gamma tiles, as well as quick initiation of postoperative radiation, as well as oncological treatments, here is her scan after five months. Here is before the re-resection and today. She's not going to survive this cancer for much longer, but we have given her quantity and quality of life in the interim time. Another example of patient-focused and compassionate care. Stay tuned next week and I'll go through another case.